Hello. Welcome to IT Support BD. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step building network monitoring tools with Nagios. You can easily create your old laptop or desktop as a network monitoring server. This network monitoring server creation is easy. Just follow a few simple five steps. Step 1. First, you need to install Ubuntu on your network monitoring server. Step 2. Install Docker Portner on your Ubuntu server. Step 3. Install Nagios and Nagvis images from the Docker Hub. Step 4. Add host on Nagios monitoring server. Step 5. Create a map where you will monitor your host-like servers, switches, routers etc. Nagios is an open-source software tool used for monitoring and managing the availability and performance of computer systems, networks, and infrastructure. It can monitor various aspects of a system, such as CPU usage, disk usage, memory usage, network bandwidth, and more, and can alert system administrators when there are issues or potential issues. First, you need to download the Ubuntu ISO file from the Ubuntu official website. Then download Rufus to create bootable USB drives the easy way. Now format and create bootable USB flash drives like this. To install Ubuntu from a bootable USB flash drive, follow these steps. Before starting the installation process, it's always a good idea to back up any important files and data on your computer, as the installation process will erase all existing data on the disk. Insert the USB flash drive into your computer and turn it on your computer. Press the key that brings up the boot menu during startup, usually F12 or ESC. From the boot menu, select the option to boot from the USB flash drive. Ubuntu will start from the USB flash drive and display the installation wizard. Follow the prompts in the installation wizard to select your language. When prompted to choose the installation type, select the option to erase the entire disk and install Ubuntu. This will replace any existing operating system on your computer with Ubuntu. Follow the prompts to set up your user account and computer name.
Once the installation is complete, remove the USB flash drive and restart your computer. To connect to an Ubuntu system using SSH, Secure Shell, follow these steps. Here I am connecting with PuTTY and logging in as the root user on this Ubuntu server. Install Docker by running the following command. Once Docker is installed, you can start the Docker service by running the following command. You can verify that Docker is running by the following command. Install Portner using the following command. You can now access the Portner UI by opening a web browser and navigating to http colon slash slash server IP9443. When you first access the Portner UI, you will be prompted to create an initial admin user. Follow the on-screen instructions to create your admin account. To install the image from the Docker Hub, simply Docker run it, and it'll get pulled automatically. Now run the following command to install Nagios and Agvis. Now to access the servers just go to the browser and type http colon slash slash your server ip nagios dot. Username, Nagios admin. Password, admin. And nagvis login type http colon slash slash your server ip nagvis. Username, admin. Password, admin. Now you can add a host on the Nagios monitoring server. Create a map where you will monitor your host like servers, switches, routers etc.
Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel and if you face any problems, please comment to me.